My name is Marilyn, and this is my speech on one of Mexico's greatest artists, Frida Kahlo. Imagine being one of Mexico's greatest artists in a time where men were considered superior. Come with me on this journey, and I will tell you all about a woman who left people in awe with her unique art. Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907, in Mexico City, Mexico. All throughout Frida's childhood, she had very poor health. She developed polio at just the age of six. This caused her right foot and her right leg to grow much thinner than her right foot. She played many sports because of this in hope of recovering, which was sort of unusual at that time for a girl. Her father thought this would help her strengthen her legs so that she wouldn't limp as much when she walked. She was once traveling on a bus which collided with a car. This incident left her severely injured. She had to be in bed rest for over seven months. This is when her love for art really took off. To pass time, she began painting and she, and she finished her very first self-portrait. Later on down the line, she met Diego Rivera, who she married in 1929. Diego was the one who really pushed her to start her love of art. Her family opposed of this marriage. Diego was involved of many affairs throughout their marriage, including Frida Kahlo's sister, Cristina. This led to Kahlo's famous paintings to be created. They would separate a few times, but always get back together. She later on had a miscarriage, which was led to her painting called the Henry Ford Hospital. In this painting, she was surrounded by a fetus flowers and a pelvis, all connected by veins. She created these paintings as an expression to demonstrate how she was feeling, despite going through all of these hardships and personal issues. Her work continued to grow in popularity. Frida always expressed her physical challenges throughout her art. Frida's health problems worsened in 1950. She had to stay in bed rest for about a year. She remained persistent in her art. Although she had limited mobility, she showed up to an art ceremony by ambulance. Everyone was cheering her on because she was such an inspiration. She was welcomed by a bed that the gallery had set up for her. And then about one week after her 47th birthday, Frida tragically passed due to a pulmonary issue but they do not know if it could have been a suicidal issue because she was also going through some depression at the time. Even after her death, she is still viewed as an icon of female creativity. It's obvious that Kahlo will always be known for her realistic paintings and her unique style of letting out her pain she was feeling. There is no doubt that she was a very strong woman who discovered her passion and did not let her medical issues or personal issues get in the way. In fact, it inspired her work. This has been my speech of the most inspiring artist, Frida Kahlo. Thank you.